everyone, I'm Sarah of Reg Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the feathers beanie, which you can see here in front of you. This is a super cozy crochet beanie. Uh, when I wear this hat, it does have a little bit of drape, so it's just slightly slouchy. Uh, and it's worked in this beautiful, thick, textured feather stitch. Today I'm going to be showing you how to work the adult size in this beanie. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Lion Brand Scarfy yarn. You're going to need about three quarters of your ball. Each ball has about 300 yards. It's a bulky weight acrylic uh, wool blend yarn. So you're going to need about 220 or so yards for this beanie pattern. Uh, the pom-pom at the top is optional. The hat does look great with or without. You're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and then a copy of the free written pattern which is on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. The direct links for each of these items is in the description of this video. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around. There is a matching ear warmer and uh, will be a cowl pattern by the end of the week for this crochet pattern uh, for the beanie. And there's lots of other beanies here on this channel as well. This beanie today is worked in rounds and we're going to start by working at the brim or the bottom of our hat. So start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to be a total of 56 chains. If you would like to change the size of your hat, you will need a foundation chain with a multiple of two stitches. So today I'm going to chain 56. That's 40. Fifty. And 56. Once you have your foundation chain worked, without twisting that chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Next, chain one. For round one, we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to the end of round one, join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. At the end of round one, make sure once again that there is no twist in your chain and then join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch. Now for the next four rounds, so this is for rounds two, three, four, and five, we're going to work four rounds of half double crochet into the third loop. So there's no need to turn your work, chain one, and pulling your work forward so you can see the back of your stitch, you're going to see a loop that runs alongside your top loop, and this loop right here, is your third loop. So this is the loop we're going to work in yarn over then working into that third loop insert your hook yarn over drop a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three for your half double crochet. 
You're going to work a half double crochet into the third loop of each stitch all the way around. What it's going to do is push the tops of your stitches forward and give you this nice little ridge of texture. So work a half double crochet in the third loop all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and work your next round. You're going to want to work a total of four rounds in the half double crochet in the third loop, and then meet me back here at the end of round five. At the end of round five, you'll have your band complete. We're going to chain one, and then working in your first stitch, you're going to work a half double crochet. We're going to work this round here that's going to set us up for working our next round of feather stitches. Once you've worked a half double crochet, you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and half double crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way around, chain one, skip the next stitch, and half double crochet into the next stitch. When you come all the way around, you'll finish with a chain one, and you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round five, you've chained one, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, and we're now set to begin round six, and round six is the first of our feather stitch uh, pattern. So what we're going to do is begin by chaining one and working a half double crochet into that first stitch. We're then going to work a feather stitch over the next two chain one spaces. To work your feather stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain one space, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You'll want to pull the loop up fairly high uh, in line with your other stitch. Then yarn over, now working over top of the chain one space of the row below and into the stitch that is two rows below, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Next, there's one more step in the feather stitch. You're going to yarn over, reach across into the next chain one space, uh, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. You'll then have seven loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all seven. That's your first feather stitch. Chain one, and work another feather stitch, this time beginning in the same space as uh, the end of your last stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space as the last uh, leg of your first stitch. Yarn over, drop a loop. Yarn over, working over top of that chain one space, insert your hook into the skip stitch down below. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space. Yarn over, draw up a loop, seven loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all seven. Chain one, and you're going to repeat that all the way around to your first stitch. At the end of round six, chain one, it may feel like you have a large gap here, but don't worry because once we work our next round, we're going to actually fill that in. So you're just going to chain and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Now for rounds seven through to 17, 
we're going to work uh, rounds of feather stitches just as we did for round six. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, work a half double crochet. You're then going to work your first feather stitch into this chain, next chain one space and this time when you're working your feather st stitches you're always working into the chain spaces two rounds below. You're not working into the tops of any stitches as we did in round six but just into the chain space as I'm going to show you. There's a little bit of a gap down here insert your hook into it and work your feather stitch. So we're going to go ahead work feather stitches all the way around join with a slip stitch in your first stitch chain one turn your work and repeat beginning with that half double crochet in the first stitch. So work round seven through to seventeen rounds of feather stitches and then meet me back here and we will work the decrease in our feathers beanie. At the end of round 17 you will have 12 rounds in total of your feather stitch and this is what it's going to look like. We're then ready to begin the decrease rounds to shape the crown of our hat. So we are going to begin by chaining one and turning your work so that the outside of your work is facing. First we're going to begin by working a beginning uh, a half double crochet into your first stitch and then by working a feather stitch into the first space. Chain one and you're going to work three more feather stitches. So we want four feather stitches in total and chain one in between. So feather stitch, chain one, feather stitch, chain one, and one more feather stitch for a total of four and chain one. We're now going to work a feather stitch cluster. To work our feather stitch cluster, we're going to start by yarning over as we did before into the same space as the last feather stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space two rows below or rounds below. Yarn over, draw up a loop. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You now have seven loops on your hook and we're going to yarn over once more, insert our hook into the next space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You now have nine loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all nine loops. Chain one, work one feather stitch over the next four spaces. And then chain one in between. Just want to go back there. A little bit of a fluff. Chain one, that's the first feather stitch. We're going to work three more. Chain one, that's three, chain one, 
work one more feather stitch for a total of four, chain one, and then work a feather stitch cluster. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your half double crochet. Now when you come all the way around for round 18, you're going to end with three feather stitches and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Chain one and turn your work. For round 19, we're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and work three feather stitches, one in each of the uh, appropriate spaces. So there's one, and then chain one. Two and chain one, three, chain one, and work a feather stitch cluster over the next three spaces. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same space. And then work one extra leg in your feather stitch for the cluster and chain one. You're now going to repeat that all the way around one feather stitch in each of the next three spaces, chain one in between. followed by a feather stitch cluster and then a chain one. Repeat that all the way around. For round 20 you're going to chain one and work a half double crochet into your first stitch. You're now going to work uh, a feather stitch in each of the next two spaces followed by a chain one. So chain uh, feather stitch, chain one, feather stitch, and chain one. So you have your two feather stitches, your two chain ones. You're going to work a feather stitch cluster over the next three spaces. chain one and repeat feather stitch in the next or in the same space as the one before chain one feather stitch chain one and a feather stitch cluster you're going to repeat this all around working uh, your final Three, uh, two feather stitches and then one final feather stitch before you join with a slip stitch in the top of your half double crochet. At the end of round 20 join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one and turn your work. For round 21 half double crochet into your first stitch, feather stitch into that first chain space, chain one, and then work a feather stitch cluster. chain one and repeat. Work one feather stitch,
chain one followed by a feather stitch cluster. Chain one, repeat that all the way around. At the end of round 21, you're going to chain one, uh, end with a feather stip stitch cluster, chain one, and join with a slip stitch into the top of the half double crochet. Turn your work. We're now going to work one final round, begin with a half double crochet into that first stitch, and then you're going to work a feather cluster chain one and feather cluster all the way around. So just continue working feather stitch clusters followed by a chain one all the way around the top of your hat. Chain one and join with a slip stitch into the top of your half double crochet stitch. And then you're going to fasten off, but fasten off leaving a little bit of a long tail. Next, Taking your yarn needle, thread the long tail through the top, and then we're going to turn our beanie so that it is right side out. I'm just going to pull my camera back a little bit better so you can see some more. So turn your beanie so that it is right side out. Taking your threaded yarn needle, you're just going to weave your yarn needle in and out through the top stitches around the opening at the top of your beanie. Once you've come all the way around, you're going to simply pull the opening closed, secure your end so that it doesn't open up again, and then depending on whether or not you're attaching a beanie or a pom-pom to the beanie, you may wish to uh, leave the long yarn tail attached for a little while longer or you may weave it in once the top of your hat is secure. Fasten off, weave in any ends that you may have on your beanie. That's what the top is going to look like without a pom-pom. And once you've woven in any other ends, that's it. Your feathers beanie is complete. As I mentioned before, when I wear this beanie, it is slightly slouchy. 
uh, but it's nothing too overwhelming and it's super cozy. So I hope that you enjoy it and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. <music>